Okay, so in this video, I want to talk about uh, which units I'm thinking of summoning as a free-to-play player. So starting off with uh, the most anticipated one and the best one, uh, Black Asta, as I said, in uh, I made a video about him a couple of days earlier. He's a really great unit. His gimmick is that he goes to 30% health and, and deals a huge amount of damage. And um, another unit that uh, is quite necessary to make him work is going to be the Queen of Witches that uh, enables him and uh, helps him uh, to go down to 30% health with her uh, third skill, uh, sets the HP of one ally with the highest defense to 30%. So since our uh, Black Asta is going to have the most defense, uh, you're always uh, putting him on 30% and then you nuke everybody. Uh, so these two are the most important that I will be summoning for. Then another uh, very good character that is going to be released in uh, the global version of the game is going to be uh, Halloween Charmy. So what Charmy does on her uh, special skill, she puts an effect called pumpkin pie and when five turns pass uh, she inflicts 600 percent of attack and magic attack as damage dealt and then removes it with her uh, second skill if she has the pumpkin pie effect she applies the halloween firecrackers so what this does this instantly activates the pumpkin pie so basically this pumpkin pie effect on her special skill and then in the next turn she activates it by her uh, by the second skill so it, it does a huge amount of damage which means that it can nuke everyone on the enemy team she also does burn effect she has immortality which is pretty important so you cannot kill her instantly and get rid of her and get rid of her um, and she also removes barriers, uh, removes barrier with her uh, combined attack. So that's it about Charmy. Now the last character I was thinking to summon for is none other than Halloween Noel. So Halloween Noel uh, on uh, on the tier list, she's uh, an S tier and S plus for PvP. What she does is on her special skill she removes uh, sp minus 3 from the enemy removes all buffs from an enemy which is uh, really good if you pair him with uh, if you pair her with uh, fast characters and she also reduces the damage of the enemies by 34 percent now depending on how fast you can get her to take her turn she will be removing sp points from the enemy so the uh, enemies won't have their uh, special skills so they won't be able to attack on, on her uh, second skill you can uh, inflict magic attack reduction inflict stone to an enemy for two turns and again she removes one uh, special point from all allies and if you have her a special uh, skill page she also blocks hp recovery for uh, two turns so she will be countering uh, some so she will be countering some uh, healers on her first skill she extends the debuffs that are applied and also reduces special points from an enemy so the reason she is so good is because uh, on her third skill you can remove buffs and then you remove their special points so they cannot do their uh, skills then her passive she inflicts a 30 percent increase damage taken debuff on all enemies so that goes with her first skill that uh, extends the debuffs and when she's attacked she removes continuous hp recovery and her unique passive is uh, she inflicts at the start of the battle she inflicts a uh, 40% of damage reduction to the enemy attack so yes in general I, I think she's gonna be one of the best debuffers in the technique category so in total these are uh, about four upcoming characters that I am saving for and I will be summoning for some of them are probably go um, I am probably going to get for free because they are seasonal I think uh, Halloween, Noel and Charmy are going to be in ha yeah, Halloween and uh, Halloween Noel and Halloween Charmy 
are going to be seasonal characters. The third one I don't remember who it is, but uh, I'll probably take Halloween Noel for free and then summon to see if I can get uh, any more copies or other characters as characters as well. So right now I have saved up 36,000 black crystals and about 80 summons and about 80 summons that should be enough honestly to get all these four characters now hopefully i can get their skill pages i am i was also thinking about summoning on the golden dawn you know but uh, i don't know yet maybe i'll do a couple of summons so thank you everyone for watching this video if you want to ask me something you're always welcome to go to the comments down below uh, thank you for watching and see you on the next one.